Let's talk about complex fraction. So for complex fractions, there are two methods. You can always multiply everything by the LCD to get rid of the fraction. So in this case, you can see that we have 2, 4, 5, and 3. So they are kind of all over the place. So you're going to have to find the LCD for all four. In this case, it's going to be 60. Now, if um, you multiply the LCD, you better get rid of the denominator. So if somehow you still have denominator, your LCD is incorrect or something wrong. So what I have right here, I have 30, I have 30 minus uh, 15 times 3 is 45. And then on the bottom, what I have is 12 times 3, so 36. And then I have 20 times 5, which is 100. So what I have is negative 15 over negative 64, which is simply 15 over 64. Okay, so you see right here number 20, you hopefully you see that we have a fraction over a fraction. So instead of multiplying the LCD or something like that, I'm just going to simply rewrite as a quotient. So I have a division problem now instead of a complex fraction. And we know how to divide. We simply multiply by the reciprocal. Now you can see that we have to factor out v squared minus 9, which is v plus 3, v and minus 3. So we can just cancel. And we have 4 over v plus 3. Okay, so number one, uh, number 21, I see four, four term. You see four term? Every time you see three terms or more, it's best to multiply the LCD. Same thing over here, number 22. So let's do number 23 together. So as you can see, we have um, the LCD is x squared. and x squared. Make sure you multiply everything. Okay, so what I have is x squared minus 81 over x squared plus 9x. And then we need to simplify. We need to factor so we can simplify. So my final answer is x minus 9 over x.